Fair one. Sushi. Block two. Dang a rapper. Okay. Saki. Saki. <laughs> That's from freaking uh, Kuon. S uh, Sayaka. Shoot, man. I'm sorry. I I've been dating this girl for like five episodes and I'm already forgetting her name. Okay, so she was in trouble. And as you can see, bull crap. Okay. There's a keychain on the ground. It has my name on it, so this must be my room key. I gave it to Sayaka when we traded rooms. Okay, we got the katana on the floor. This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. It has been taken out of its sheath. More importantly, where's Sayaka? But wait, let's keep stalling and looking, looking around. <laughs> Looks like the lint roller is way less sheets than you. Oh. But 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 Sayaka can we? <laughs> uh, uh, my curiosity must be satisfied. Oh, okay, fine. No, I I should probably. Come on. Oh what? Oh, there are slashes and gouges on the wall and floor. All right. Okay, no, I want to look. At some... <laughs> I want to look at everything. I'm sorry. I want to be thorough. The display stand. The sword was on. Is that everything? Okay. Toolkit is still inside the drawer and it's still sealed. Okay. So apparently that was important. Okay. I better check the bathroom. Oh, F me. Let's take a look inside. Oh, well... That is a dead Sayaka. Took me a second to realize that I was screaming. Okay. So, confession time, guys. Um, when I was answering comments um, from previous episodes of this, I saw something on the side of the screen from suggested videos that said something about YouTubers react to Sayaka's death. So, um... This isn't a humongous surprise to me. <laughs> Let's just say that. But first of all, why is everything pink? I mean, whatever. Is that is that like to make it more user friendly? I don't I don't know. What, what I saw dug its way through my eyes and buried itself in my brain, and then, and then everything went black. Could you imagine though, for real? That whole thing was the prologue. Can you imagine th that situation? <laughs> F that. Like, I, I laugh, but that's like a nervous laugh. Like, you know. Like, oh my god, it's windy as fudge outside. Holy crap. Leaves everywhere. Okay, I'm sorry. When I opened my eyes, I found myself staring at a huge ceiling. It was a ceiling I remembered seeing before. When I sat up, I saw someone looking at me. Again, it was someone I'd seen before. Ah, oh, you're awake! Finally! Are you okay? Yeah. Now's no time for sleeping. Get your butt up! Huh? Uh, um, you were unconscious, dude. I had to carry you back here. Well, it's no surprise, considering what happened. What happened? G -g -g um, hey, are you okay? So it wasn't a dream? What I saw... It was real? Hmm. That's right. It really did happen. Sayaka is dead. A deep, dark despair worked its way through my body and then exploded out of me. I shot up and took off running. Hey, where do you think you're going? I have to see for myself. I have to see if Sayaka is... It's Sayaka is... Just give you can up. check once, twice, a thousand times. Sayaka is completely and irrevocably dead. No, I have to see for myself. Why? Listen to us, man. What do you think is going to happen if you go out there? Well, what good is it going to do just sitting around here? I mean, what are we all... Why are we all hanging out at the gym at a time like this? Our friend Sayaka, she's... She's dead. Dead. When I said that, it finally hit me. I realized she was really gone. Calm down. None of us want to be here right now either. Then why? Sh shouldn't it be obvious? M Monica, Kuma, 
He, he told us all to c c come here. Well, hold on. Don't talk like that. We all protested it. I mean, we remember the terrible price Sayaka had to pay. But... So... I'm the one who convinced him to come. Right now, we need to do whatever he says. We're his prisoners, right? It's not a good idea to defy him without reason. Correct. We don't need to make any more sacrifices than we already have. Well, if she's on this hole, we have to listen to Monokuma thing. Then, did she listen to Monokuma when he said to kill somebody to be free? I don't know. Why should we listen to anything he has to say? It's obvious he's the one who killed Sayaka. And he could be the one to kill you, so that's why you should listen to him. But, I don't know. I would never do that. If you can believe anything, you can believe that. <laughs> He's here again. Hey, um... Unless someone violates a school regulation, I absolutely will not interfere. I can promise you I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of your school life here. Listen up! I'm famous at safari parks throughout the world for following the bear times one rule. Th but... Then who did it? Who killed her? Come on! You already know the answer. The one who killed her is one of you! Nobody had a reply for that. One of us killed Sayaka? Don't be stupid, that's... Hmm? What's the matter? You guys all look like you're about to see a dove get shot up with a Gatling gun. <laughs> he, 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 he's probably done that in his childhood. Like, he found a dove and he had a Gatling gun stashed somewhere and just, like, went all out on it. Had fried dove that evening. Don't you remember what I told you when this all began? One of you decided to kill Sayaka so that you could graduate. Someone's just following the rules. There's nothing wrong with that. Well... You're, you're lying, right? Of course he's lying. I'm telling you, he killed her. Wrong. Nope. Sorry. One of you is now a bona fide killer. If they wanted to, the one who did it could testify to that little fact. What? Without thinking, I looked around at everyone. They all had the same look on their faces. Everyone looked at each other with a combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Uh, um... uh, are you serious? What, what is this? Someone killed someone? <laughs> a dude killed a dude. I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't be laughing. It is amazing what some people are capable of. Just I don't trust on. her at all. But I don't think she's the one who killed him. Her. <laughs> hey, hold on. Don't just assume he's telling the truth. Stop talking. That's enough. Before we do anything else, I'd like to confirm something with the stuffed animal here. Hmm. If one of us really did kill her, that person gets to graduate from the school, right? Huh? huh? Come on. Don't play dumb. That's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you get to leave. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's cuz... Naive! You're just so naive! He, don't they have to be not found out? You think it's really that easy? You can just kill someone and waltz on out of here? Hey, You're super naive! Devilishly naive! Hellishly naive! No, no, no! The real thing has just begun! The real thing? Now then. Are you ready? Allow me to explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation. Just like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave. However... Even if you do that, there's still one more part to the agreement you have to hold, uphold, remember? <clears throat> then perhaps... You were referring to the rule number six of school regulations. Oh, how, how did you memorize them, Celeste? If you are the blackened that committed the murder, you can't be found out by the other students. That is what you were talking about, is it not? In other words... Bingo! It's not enough to just kill someone. You have to actually get away with it. Which naturally means you need a system in place to, ask, uh, to assess whether or not it's been gotten away with. Yahoo! So, a certain amount of time after a murder has taken place, a class trial will begin. Class trial? Uh. Class? Trial? Cla cl cl class trial? Oh snap. Oh snap. We're about to go on trial. Better wipe away your smile. Or get the phone and dial. That 911. But the cops are gonna come. Because you are dumb. If you think that, they will be over here. Because Monokuma's weird. And he's got this place secluded. Oh, that's how I'll conclude it. <laughs> okay. So somebody told me about the trials. And uh, not really in depth, but just like general. Generally that this is where most of the interactive 
play comes in. Because this is mostly a visual novel, but you get to walk around and choose who you talk with, so. Yep, it'll be again a few hours after the murder. Everyone will gather together, including the blackened who committed the murder. And they and the spotless students will all engage in one big debate, sh the showdown. During the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote. If the answer you've arrived at is correct, only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue their communal life. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. Which, of course, means your school life will come to an end. And probably your regular life. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. Well... So, um, what exactly is this punishment you keep talking about? Hmm... Oh, well, to put it simply... What? It's execution! Oh, okay. Yeah! <sighs> I thought you were going to put me in the corner, but execution, I can deal with that. E execution! What? And by execution, you mean... Execution is... Execution! Execution! Electric chair! <laughs> Poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! Uh, thanks for letting us know. So, to, to make sure I understand. If we get the culprit right, then only they die. But if we get it wrong... All the rest of us get executed? Well done. What a smart little chimpanzee you are. Look at you implying you didn't do it without actually saying it. So it's basically what the outside world calls a lay judge system or inquisition type thing. Which means you'll be deciding who you think the killer is. Hmm. But judge carefully because all your lives are on the line. Uh -huh. Okay, let me just add the rule I just described to your handle. Make sure to keep him. Oh my god. Like voice cracking while doing Monokuma's voice. Okay. Add it to regulations. Wait, wait. Hold on a second. You're freaking insane, you know that? Hmm? What the? A class trial? What the heck is that? I don't want to do anything like. Or I don't want anything to do with it. What's this? Why not? Stop it. What do you mean, why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? What? Are you saying you're not going to participate in the trial? Only punishment awaits such blasphemy. What? Punishment? Hmm. I might, I don't know, throw you in the deep, dark, scary prison or something. Shut the, hell up. Shut the heck up. Say whatever you want. I'm not going to be part of this. I don't, don't be boy. so selfish. Stop you're it. the one being selfish. Kill whoever you want. It's not going to do with... It's got nothing to do with me. <laughs> the evil standing here before me. I'm trembling with fear. But I won't give in to such evil. It's my style to stick it out and resist till the very end. If you really want to get out of here, you have to go through me first. As he said that, he came charging at us, although it was more of a waddle. But then... Kill me! Are you enjoying yourself now? Are you? Oh boy. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not allowed! Violated a it's a wrap. Regulation. It's a wrap, Junko. It's a wrap. I invoke the mighty summon spell. Help to me, godly spear, Gunnier. Oh. Okay, I might have to change this because the pink blood is throwing me the freak off. God dang. Oh, the fact that she's twitching still. This wasn't supposed to... Why me? Suddenly, right at the end, her eyes shot wide open. And just like that, she never moved again. I didn't think Junka would die. Oh, she's chilling right there. What the? I didn't think she would die so soon. I thought she was kind of a... Like a... A mean character. I don't... This can't be real. No way! Well now. Now I am painfully aware of the great power and meaning of a promise. 
I really wanted to keep a corpse from popping up for no good reason, you know? <laughs> but I guess you all needed to be taught a lesson after all. Ah, what an amazing promise. But now you guys understand, right? Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. So, if you don't want that to happen to you, you best obey those school regulations. Okay. Got a pen over to her corpse. Junko's body has been impaled with a bunch of spears. An unbelievable amount of blood started pouring out of her body. Yeah, the, the pink blood is throwing me off so much. It was the first time I'd ever seen the moment someone's life came to an end. Nobody there could deny what they had seen. Junko, who until just a second ago had been our friend, was dead. She died. She'd been murdered. In simple terms, it was the death of a human being. It's really not all that shocking. She just died, that's all. She just went and died. No more remarkable than the inevitable demise of the entire human race. It's just as natural as the eventual end of the world itself. <laughs> this isn't some superhero comic, so it's not like when you die, you didn't really die. This is reality! Why? Why did you have to kill her? Didn't you say you would put her in prison or something? Hmm. I changed my mind. I knew. No, you've been wanting to kill this entire time. Kill this entire time? Don't be silly. You can't kill time. Or are you being metaphorical? Are you saying I wanted to waste time this whole time? Come on, what do you take me for? I'm Monokuma. Anyway, none of that matters right now. I have something I'd like to give you to help you in your search for the Blackened. This little file has all the information I've gathered about the death in question. I'd like to call it... It's the Monokuma file! You know what? Can you at least give me a heads up when you're going to step in and talk? I mean, naturally. You guys aren't any experts. I'm oh, sorry. Let's try that again. I mean, naturally, you guys aren't experts at this kind of thing. So you can only do so much with a corpse. So instead, oh, do so much with a corpse. What does he do with corpses? I've gathered up everything I know about the circumstances and cause of death. What's that? How do I know the cause of death, you ask? Because the surveillance cameras picked up the whole thing. I got to see it all go down. So Wait, so then you know who killed Sayaka? Of course I do. If I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass a fair and accurate judgment during the trial now, could I? Correct. That's a good point. The judge has to be able to make the proper decision. That's somehow comforting. Well. Now then, please put your full effort behind your investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give it your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a choice. Okay, so we'll meet up for the class trial in a little while. And with that, Monokuma disappeared once again. He left us stunned and confused. He left us at a total loss. He left us with Junko's dead body growing colder right in front of us. Fudge. And for who knows how long, nobody said a word. The fact that Sayaka and Junko were dead was a huge shock, of course. But there was more to it than that. There was also the idea that one of us had actually murdered someone. And that if we didn't find out who it was, we would all die here. We found ourselves in a situation where we couldn't help but look at each other with open suspicion. It was the worst situation imaginable. And yet, even in such a perversely terrible situation, she didn't put the, show the slightest hint that it had gotten to her. Hey. Now, now's no time to wallow in your depression. The worst thing we can do right now is lose all faith in each other. That would lead to the same disastrous result as having total faith in everyone else. Huh? In other words... Cooperation is absolutely key at this point. Who you decide to trust or not trust is, of course, up to you. <laughs> Continuing to think about and talk about the deceased certainly isn't going to help anything. What the heck? Saying stuff like that is just... <sighs> How many times have I told you? Anyone who can't adapt will die. Death is the only thing awaiting those who are unable or unwilling to adapt. <laughs> if that happens, you only have yourself to blame. What an awful thing to say, especially after what's happened! Just right now, exposing the killer is the most important thing. Because if we don't, we're all going to die here. She's right. We need to begin our search right away. Of Either way, we can't run away from this situation. So we have no choice but to move forward. What the heck? We just have to do it, I guess. What other choice do we have? 
<laughs> no way in heck am I letting someone kill me. Alright, dang it. Let's do this. We just have to do it. Everyone kept repeating that sentiment. They were using it like a mantra to give themselves strength. But they're right. We just have to do this. No matter how much we don't want to, we have no choice. If that's what it takes to survive, and that's what we have to do. On top of that, there was something I needed to find out. I had to know why Sayaka had to die. Why she had to be the one. I'm terrified to find out, but still, I have to know. Otherwise, I knew I'd never be able to accept her death. Which is why... I don't have any choice. I have to do this. Okay. So, first of all, let me glance at the corpse again, because I'm weird like that. I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check for a pulse, like they do in movies and stuff, but... She really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. I don't know why you even bothered to check. After those entries, and losing that much blood. Frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Huh? huh? Hold on. H hold on! J just wait a second! It's like just hitting him now. Sh she's dead? Th that means... That means everything that's happened so far was real? It's not a joke or whatever? It's really real? <laughs> no, somebody save me! Let me out of here! Somebody help me! What's You're j just now accepting that? Okay, let me, let me check something. I want to see if I can... <laughs> get away from this, uh... This is pink blood. Okay, never mind. That's probably something I just have to do later. Look at the menu screen. Alright, so... Let's see. Let's talk to Toko. She's all the way over here. She must be so shocked she can't even open her mouth to talk. Or maybe she... She just doesn't want to say anything to give herself away, because she did it! No. What should I do? Someone got... Right in front of us. They... Hmm... Maybe she was the one who programmed them to fire at Junko. We can't run away from this situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. Okay, I'm like being suspicious of everybody now. <laughs> Man, that dude is so downtrodden right now. I mean, someone did just get killed. Well, two people did. And one person's a killer, so. Ifumi? Consciousness has crashed. Restarting now. Please wait a moment. Oh. <laughs> Come on, man, let me out of here. Come on, someone let me out. Oh, that dude looks oh, insanely distraught. Is this really happening? Screw that piece of crap bear. Before we start searching for a Sayaka's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. What do you mean? You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty so nobody can disturb the area, aren't you? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to think anyway. I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Hmm. Okay, then we can let Mondo look after the scene. Well, no. We can't just leave him there alone. What? what? Why the heck not? Stop Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. Yeah. No, fudge you! Fine, then I'll stay there on guard duty as well. That way there's no problem. Mm -hmm. Two-player co-op, Bates defense with the two of them. With their stats, they're totally OP. <laughs> Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. But... I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. Oh, I skipped over Aoi, I'm sorry. Oh. Hmm? <laughs> so you finally noticed. Huh? Notice what? I was looking through the Monokuma file we received, and I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? huh? What are you talking about? Go ahead, take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sayaka died? She died in Makoto's dorm. Oh, shh. That's a good point. Oh, she's right. Then, could it be? All at once, everyone's gaze turned to me. Well, hold on a second, you've got it all wrong. For just one night, I, I traded rooms with her. I did because she was afraid. Y you expect us to b believe that? Just tell us the truth. Look in everyone's eyes had done a complete 180 from just a few minutes earlier. The feeling of suspicion and fear had returned. In other words, you, you think I did it? So then. Are we all done talking? We need to begin our investigation soon. At this point, we should split up. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Sayaka. 
We have to collect clues to form a foundation, then construct an argument to come to a final decision. She is so well-spoken, I have to say. Um, if we get this wrong, and, and the cool thing is we like we don't know what ultimate thing she is. So I'm really curious to know what that'll end up being. So... Well, do I really have to say any more? Perhaps you need... I'd rather you didn't. No. Goodbye. Everyone pray for good luck. With that, Kyoko hurried out of the gym. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll be going too. I'm very suspect of Byakuya. Just saying. And just like that, Kyoko... And just like Kyoko, he was gone before he realized it. Yo. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? I better head to the scene of the crime. Mm. Ah, that's right. Hey, damn it. Let me just say this right now. If whatever son of a did this here right now is it right here? Ah, is it here right now. And they're thinking of destroying that evidence. You're fucking dead. Yeah, yeah. I don't even need to say the rest of it. I'm serious. I will f them up. Letting his deadly words hang in the air, he and Sakura ran off. So, um... But I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know. We're gonna investigate a murder. How do we even do something like that? We don't really have to do anything in particular. We already know who killed Sayaka. What are you implying? This is it was very you. Suspicious. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. D don't come any closer. Are you going to kill me next? So, um, well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. It's not for sure that Makoto's guilty yet. Um, That's true. We may as well ch at least check just to check. Even if I wanted to, I c couldn't help... Investigate. Huh. Wait, why not? I'm not g g good with blood. All it takes is w one glimpse and I, I black out. Oh yeah. Well, whatever. I don't think anyone was expecting much from you anyway. All right, I guess I better get going. W wait, don't go yet. You have to hear me out. It was pointless. Everyone had already left, and their parting looks at me had still been fi or filled with suspicion. They don't really think I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they've got it all wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone will... Execution is... Yep. Yep. yep, we know. We know. You don't have to explain it again, thanks. I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Sayaka. What? I guess I should look through the Monokuma file we got before. The victim was Sayaka Maizuna. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room, in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. There was also injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow I have to find out the truth. So that we can all survive. And for Sayaka, I had to find out how she was killed. Okay, cool. All right, so now we're investigating. <laughs> Can I investigate? I, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm still... Yeah. Dang it, why is this happening? All right, Let's start with Chihiro. Aren't you going to help investigate Chihiro? Um... But I, I can't leave Junko here. I, I feel sorry for her. Like, I have to stay with her. Ugh, uh, no way. I seriously don't want to die here. No I'm begging way. you, God, Buddha, Mother Earth, God of Space, King Neptune, help me! I don't care who it is. Just get me out of here. Hiro doesn't seem prepared to do any kind of investigating right now. Okay, so... Alright. So let's get the floop out of here. Man. <clears throat> Dude, this one from... Zero to a hundred real quick. Alright. I don't think there's... Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Before I do that, maybe... maybe. Wait, the, the katana was over here. Inside the display case are all tr are trophies and other items. Wait, never mind, I took it there anyway. I took it from there. Alright, let's just go. We're gonna investigate the fudge out of this place. First of all, I should head to the scene of the crime, my room. We won't make any progress without investigating there. So I headed to my room, where Sayaka's corpse still remained. I better examine the state of my room a little closer. 
that might reveal something new. Sakura, do you think I'm guilty too? Hey. I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether it or not you did this. Hmm. Whatever decision the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. I, I, see, I kind of like Sakura. She seems very level-headed. But she could also be the killer. The way. You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. There's a trash room in here in the dorm rooms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. Yeah, that's definitely possible. You son of that a bitch. dirty beer. It's, it's, I don't know why I said that. It's... Anyone who raises their hand to a woman is scum that deserves death. That's what my brother taught me. You're fucking dead. Yeah, so if I ever find that son of a bee that did this, I'm going to pound his goddamn face. But what if it was a girl that did it? <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. Yo. That'll all get sorted out when the time comes. <laughs> that was very funny. Alright. Hey, Kyoko. I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area. But... What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? No. Not really. I'm searching. Searching? She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of my room. Did you lose a contact or something? I bet you she's like the ultimate detective or something. I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. Alright. Here we go. I should look around here first. I can check other spots later. Okay. Huh? Look at the lint roller. Looks like there was way less than there was before. Sayaka, see how dirty my room was and decided to clean up a little. This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus, it's been taken out of its sheath. Yep. I haven't actually looked at the blade itself till now. I shouldn't be surprised it's coated in gold too. On top of that, some of the gold coating has come off parts of the blade and the handle. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of its coating, which probably means it was used. Remember, the coating sticks to you even if you just touch it a little bit. Ah. Ah. Ah, that's interesting. There's a key on the ground. It has my name on it. So this must be my room key. If I remember correctly. Ah, that's right. We'll have to trade keys. When we switch rooms, we switch keys too. So yes, Ayaka would have the key would have had the key here in my room the entire time. Wait, if that's true then, how did the killer get into the room in the first place? Could Sayaka have forgotten to lock the door? No, that seems impossible. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open the door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? After saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it or opened it for any reason. Maybe she dropped the key somewhere, and someone else grabbed it or something. No, that's not possible either. Sayaka was in here when we switched rooms. And with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around. She couldn't have dropped it. So how did the killer... Okay. Okay, is there like a vent in here somewhere? Hmm. I... No. Oh, my, my computer's going loud. Uh. Tokyo's still inside the drawer. Yep. Which makes sense, I guess. I mean, it was it's mine, and I haven't had any reason to open it. Can't even imagine a situation where I'd need a toolkit like this. Yo. Yeah, seriously. Oh, Mondo. What? We ain't exactly in the mood to be what? building f and furniture, right? So if you haven't used your, so you haven't. Oh, so that's me. So you haven't used yours either, then. What? Not just me. Nobody's burst what? theirs out yet, as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way. None of the guys have opened their toolkits yet. Cause like, why the heck would we? Toolkit has been added. Okay. Huh. Okay. Um, I think there's one more thing. This little thing here. New pad is still here, but I don't think it's relevant right now. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, no, nah, I guess this doesn't matter. Okay. So Mastermind was. Okay, yep. They don't do anything to stop what's happening. They just keep on watching. Oh, the turned over table. That's right. Oh, no, no that's the gouges. That's right. There's scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? Looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Dang it. I was right there in the other room. If only I had heard something. Wait. 
That would not have been possible. Huh? Don't you remember? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. So something could happen in the room right next to you. There's no way you could know. Well, Perhaps this was another of Monokuma's strategies, creating an ideal setting for murder. Okay. Is that more evidence of a struggle? Okay. Yeah. Alright. Looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Alright. Well. Anything else? I think that's it. Oh crap. Sorry, Mondo. By the way. Sorry. You son of a Yeah, I I know. Curse away, curse away. You do your thing. Yep. Yo. If a girl did it, yeah, we'll have to sort that out later. Alright, let's go into the bathroom. Dude, this is kinda of fun. Okay. Um what's the button? Tab? Holy fudge. <laughs> There's so much crap. Uh okay. Oh, the bed itself. I didn't even pick that. There are gouges in the bed. Like someone attacked it. What the heck happened here? Okay, um oh I haven't checked what what, what did I oh the door. Okay. Oh, oh, the stand, the stand, okay. It's the display stand the sword was on. Okay. Okay, that, that should be it. Oh, the monitor, I didn't check that yet. Okay. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. Right now, it's just showing the school crest. Alright. Well, let me... Fudge, Mondo keeps blocking the way. Alright, if it doesn't let me in the bathroom, that means I probably have to leave the room. Yo. Okay. Okay. Not not Mondo. Okay. Okay. So try leaving the room. What the fudge? What else in the room have I not checked? Oh, this right here. I didn't even see that. The sheath. This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Does this mean it was using the attack somehow? Plus the swords. Oh. No, it's the same thing. How did the sheath get scratched up in the first place? Even if someone uses the sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. I mean, if you're going to attack someone with a sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. A heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. You just slide off in the middle of the fight. So why are there scratches on the sheath? Well, I mean, there's scratches on the floor, so if the sheath was on the floor, that would be understandable. Okay, now. Maybe it'll let me. I clicked on. Oh, no, okay. What? What else? Oh, there's something. No. Okay. I'm like. Oh, come on. Think, think, think. I've done everything. Alright. Will it let me out here now? even know. Okay, wait. Oh, hold on. What about what about this here? No, I can't. I can't click on that. Did I actually click on the key? Yeah, I did. Hey. Wait, hold on. What if I talk to Kyoko again? Hey, Kyoko. Okay, no. Oh, it's just gonna do Isn't it awesome? I'm searching. Did you? But a few seconds later, she suddenly stood up straight and said, Listen. Are you a clean freak? Huh? N no, I don't think so. But what? Nodding, she glanced around my room one more time. I see. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. Unusual? What do you mean? So... I've searched your floor from one corner to another, and I didn't find one single strand of hair. Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim? 
Not one hair from you, even though you've been living in here. You know, now that you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like a lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Could someone have used it too? I see. Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone used your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Sayaka or the killer? Well, That's the question, isn't it? Okay. Okay. Very interesting. Now. Now. The bathroom. And on the other side of this door. Man. No, I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. Could you imagine this? Oh my god. Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her, her. Sayaka. All at once I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, and the urge to burst into tears. But I can't. I can't hesitate now. Why? Why did Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse. But that thought held me up and supported me. All right. So, um, I'm actually going to call it a day right there. Um, we're going to save. So, uh, well, how about it? This was quite an episode. <laughs> Holy fudge. Did I save it? Okay, I did. So, that's going to be it for now, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Like this if you liked it. Dislike if you disliked it. As always, peace!